Hey, what's up, guys? Tom Spark back with another video. Today, we're looking at Windscribe VPN. We're going to be decide if it's worth using, um, what kind of features it has, pricing, everything like that. Right now, I'm on the website. This is kind of what the pricing scheme is going to look like. So, you have an unlimited plan, a monthly plan, and then the free plan. And the, there's also other options like Bitcoin and stuff, which is good to see. Now, the free plan does have limited servers as well as like a two gigabyte cap. Uh, you can see a lot of servers are pretty limited, so if you're in one of those locations and you want good speeds, might not be the best thing. Right here we have the support section. Right away we're going to notice that there is no live chat options, but Wimskype support is actually quite decent. I've used them in the past and they respond pretty quickly. Right here we can see some of their features. No logs, good to see there. Um, good encryption. A lot of websites don't include their encryption rate. Uh, WinFlex is their Netflix compatibility. It works through the proxy extension. I actually just made a video testing that out and I can confirm it does work um, even with a free model. Now keep in mind you are going to be limited by that bandwidth cap so not going to be too useful for streaming on the free edition but good for testing out to see if it works for you. Now you have some other features here with their proxy like um, you know firewall, split personality, uh, different couple things there to that looks good for our extra services features um, section on this review. Now we're going to take a look at the app right now. It looks like we have a pretty simple app here, pretty small and minimalist. Um, you can see that's how you access the Netflix, a good little tip there. Um, you could connect to servers. We're going to look at the preferences right now. Um, pretty good amount of preferences actually. We've got connection tab, proxy settings. Um, a couple other different things to configure. A couple of things I am missing though with this app. I didn't notice any kill switches. Um, but besides that, it pretty much gets the job done. Not too much missing here. I do like some of the extra customization they put inside the app I, that I haven't seen in some other apps that are too simple. So this is a pretty good app. Works pretty good. Easy to install and navigate. Now another cool thing is that when you connect to Windscrab, the app actually has some kind of like visual cues. It, it turns blue when you're connected and it's kind of gray right now. So I like seeing those kind of advanced kind of interface features to make an app stand out. As you can see right now, it's going ahead and turning from that kind of light blue gray color to the bright blue, which is connected. So really fresh, really modern. Um, shows you kind of data cap up there. We're going to go ahead and test out what kind of speeds we're going to get with this app because what good is the speed? Uh, what good is the VPN without good speeds? You can see here I speeded that up a little bit to give you a clear idea. So we have pretty good speeds, pretty good low ping. Um, pretty good download rate. Um, latency only 23 ms. I'm going to go ahead and do another speed test just to check on another website. You can see my IP down there is with Windscribe and getting pretty good speeds here as well. A little bit better. Um, now we're going to test the torrent speeds. Um, see what kind of speeds they're giving us. And these I was a little disappointed. It wasn't super, super fast, but um, pretty good overall. Of course, this can vary depending on the time of day and things like that. But um, definitely serviceable for torrenting. Definitely works with torrenting. Um, this is one reason why I've nominated Winscribe as the best free torrent VPN in the past. Now, like I said, with a Netflix thing, keep in mind you are limited for two gigabytes. And you can see there on the left there, I haven't used it too much. It's already going down. Here I'm testing out to see if there's any IP leaks. Looks pretty good. Um, not seeing anything unusual here. So that's always good to see. Next thing we're going to take a look at is the privacy policy. Um, nothing really standing out here that really concerns me. Uh, most of the things are just collected to better the service. They don't really collect your IP. They also purge your things like that. Um, they're not keeping any of your data around for other things. Now, I just looked at a VPN.com uh, review, and that is something you don't want to look at. Um, their privacy policy is very bad in comparison. So what kind of pros do we have so far in this Windscribe review? Well, we got decent speeds, a decent app, a good privacy policy, Easy setup, uh, pricing is okay, nothing really stands out to me, pretty standard for pricing. Um, support is good, although we're missing live chat. Um, it's good to see Bitcoin as a payment option. We also have Netflix compatibility, which is a huge plus in my eyes since not many VPNs really support it. Now, what are some cons of Windscribe? Well, not too much to be honest. Uh, we could see some more improved speeds in the torrent category, but overall pretty serviceable there. Um, free model is kind of limited, but I kind of see it as a more of like a trial opportunity to try out Windscribe. Website feels fresh and unique. 
Um, not too many bad things about this service. Of course, if you're looking for more of a power VPN, uh, something that has kill switches, um, a little bit more configuration, although WinScribe does have pretty good configuration in their client already, um, you might want to look at a different VPN options out there. Uh, WinScribe is a new VPN, but they're really doing pretty well so far. So WinScribe VPN, should you buy this VPN? Well, there are a few reasons why you should, perhaps. Well, if you want a free VPN, you want to just test out VPN, I would recommend WinScribe VPN since it has a really good kind of trial 2 gigabyte feature. Um, your experience should be pretty good for that. Now, if you're in a country that doesn't support uh, WinScribe VPN in one of their servers, they are limiting the service on the free version. Maybe stay away. Uh, might not be worth your time. Um, however, if you're in the U.S. or something like that, it could be a good option. Now, if you want Netflix compatibility, I would definitely recommend Winscribe. It's one of the best options out there if you want to unblock Netflix and, you know, get rid of those pesky geo restrictions. Now, if you're more of a, you know, regular VPN user, you want something with the most features, um, best kind of securities options, and, you know, compatibility worldwide. Uh, maybe you want some extra stealth VPN features, some um, you don't want a freely included proxy with your torrent app. You kind of want just like the full package. You've been around VPN for a while. Now, I would recommend something like TorGuard. Uh, if you want to check out that review, uh, stick around Best 10 VPN YouTube channel, and I'll put that in the link down below.